Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video we'll see how to install Kubernetes cluster or you know how to deploy a Kubernetes cluster on your local machine or you can also use this method to uh, create a Kubernetes cluster on your virtual machine wherever it is. So uh, basically for our development purpose or to learn Kubernetes you know you cannot uh, effort to create a full-blown Kubernetes cluster. So you need a development Kubernetes cluster. So uh, there are many uh, local Kubernetes clusters like Minikube or K3S. You can also use K3D or some other stuff, but you know, the easiest thing that you can do or the thing that has been for a long time is Minikube. So in this video, I'll show you how to install Minikube on your laptop or your virtual machine and how to use it. So there are two easy steps to do. So one is, you know, uh, to install the Minikube and the second thing is to install kubectl. So what is kubectl? Kubectl is your Kubernetes command line. Uh, so with which you can interact with your Kubernetes cluster. So you can also do it with your Kubernetes UI uh, or uh, the Kubernetes dashboard, but the most preferred way of doing it is using kubectl. So the easiest way uh, is to uh, directly go to switch to the Kubernetes uh, sorry, Minikube official documentation. So this is the Minikube official documentation. If you see here, minikube.6.kh.io, special interest groups.kh.io. So this is the uh, official documentation and uh, you need to uh, have these prerequisites. Like, you know, you have to have two CPUs, two GB of free RAM and 20 GB of free hard disk. And of course, an internet connection. And uh, if you want to install uh, Minikube on, you know, uh, or any of the platforms like Windows or Mac OS or anywhere, you need to have a hypervisor that is installed. And what is the purpose of hypervisor? It's uh, basically serves for creating a virtual server on top of your uh, laptop or your server. So that's only prerequisite that, need, that you need to have. And uh, I'm not going into details of creating a, a virtual machine, uh, sorry, a hypervisor because it differs from platform to platform that you're on. So I'll assume that you already have a uh, hypervisor. So the first thing that you do is uh, step over to the installation process and choose your operating system on which you are on. And you can simply uh, download the mini queue from here, or you can simply execute the scripts that are available here. And uh, it doesn't take much time. So if you download the binary, uh, let's assume you're on a Linux platform. So you download the binary and you can uh, set it to your path. So it uh, hardly takes like, you know, five to 10 minutes. And once you have that, you can simply use this command called minikube start. So minikube start would start a cluster for you. And uh, you can also pass uh, some parameters like uh, the driver that you want to use and all. But uh, the basic command that you can do is minikube start. And uh, the next thing that you need to have, like I uh, showed you in the previous slide, is to have kubectl up and running. So a kubectl can be easily downloaded. So uh, again, go to the official Kubernetes documentation, kubernetes.io, and search for the install tools. And you can simply download the kubectl binary of the operating system that you are on. So install kubectl for Linux, once you click on this, you can easily download the binary. And once you have that, so your kubectl would be configured to the cluster that you are with, like the Kubernetes cluster that you're using, and you can execute your Kubernetes commands. And there are other instructions uh, of how you can operate with your Minikube cluster, like you can pass your Minikube cluster, or you can unpause your Minikube cluster. You can stop the cluster whenever you not require this, or for any other reasons, you can stop the Minikube cluster. <laughs> And you can create multiple clusters with a sim, uh, single Minikube uh, uh, instance. Like, you know, you can create a development cluster and you can create a testing cluster. You can do uh, multiple clusters with Minikube. And you can also set the different configurations. You can increase the memory or uh, you can do uh, different things here. So just type the Minikube, uh, command Minikube and you'll uh, look into the all the options that you have. And these are the simple examples that I've shown here. And one more important thing about Minikube is it supports a lot of add-ons so that you can uh, install add-ons like your ingress controller, uh, operator lifecycle manager for which you can install the operators and you can do different things with Minikube add-ons. So this is a simple video of uh, using and installing Minikube guys. So if you have any questions or if you need a 
detailed video on how to install minikube please post it in the comment section and uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel abhishek viramala thank you so much